Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. Hi, this is the first lesson of the chapter Permutations and Combinations. First, we would like to look at multiplication rule. If an event can be done in R ways and the other event can be done in S ways, then both events can be done successively in R multiplied as different ways. Let's look at example one. There are three different shirts and two different pants. How many different outfits are there? Now, we are looking at the number of different outfits. Three different shirts, two different pants. By using multiplication rule, we multiply this, and hence, there are six different outfits. Now, there are four different pairs of shoes to match with the outfit. How many different outfits are there now? As we have six different outfits, now with the four different pairs of shoes, by using multiplication rule again, we multiply these numbers and they are all together 24 different outfits now. All right. This is how we use multiplication rule to find the number of ways. Let us look at the point number two. Permutations of objects which are all different. The number of permutations of n distinct objects or different objects is npn or is equal to n factorial, right? The formula is this. For example, 5p5 is the same as 5 factorial. And the meaning is 5 multiplied with 5 minus 1. So that is 4. 5 minus 2, that is 3. And so on. That means it will be 2 and 5 minus until we stop at one, all right? And the number of way will be 120. That means if you have five different objects or five distinct uh, objects, then the no total number of permutations is five factorial ways. And you can use calculator to find out the number of ways, which is 120. Let's see example two here. In how many ways these letters A, B, C can be arranged? So as we have three different letters now, that means we have three different objects. So hence, the number of different ways is equal to 3P3, or is equal to 3 factorial, and you can use calculator to find out the number of ways is equal to six. All right. Okay, now we have a look at point number three, talking about permutations of objects, which are not all different, right? They are not all different. So in general, number of permutation of N objects of which P are identical then the number of ways is given by this. Example, if I have A, A, B, then although there are three different letters here, so I have three factorial ways of arrangements or the permutations, but there are two A's are identical. So according to the formula, we need to divide out two factorial ways and the answer will be three. All right. Now, for extensions, 
if the number of n a permutation of n objects of which p are identical and q are identical but different from p then the formula will be given by this okay to understand this formula better let's look at example three all right i'll write down the formula at the top here So let's see example three. In how many ways can the letters of the following words be arranged? So A, this is the words of Saturday. In the beginning, they are eight different letters, right? Eight different letters for you to arrange. But out of the eight letters here, we can see they are double A identical. So according to number one formula here, first we have eight factorial ways, but due to the two identical letter A, we divide out the number of ways of the double A identical. Then the number of ways we have at the end is Two o one six o. All right. Let's see example B. Okay, maybe we can write down the word dividend like this. We try to put the identical letters in the same column like this. D I V I. We put in the same column. And D. And E, N, and D. Like this, we get to see there are three Ds identical, double I identical. All right, then all together, there are eight letters for you to arrange in a row, but there are three Ds identical. So we divide out three factorial way. And 2i identical, we divide out two factorial way according to the second formula. Right? And we multiply them together. And the number of ways for the arrangement of this word is 3360. Okay, so this is how we use the formula to find out the number of ways if they are identical letters in between. So to use this formula, first, we'll count how many letters are there. So there are eight letters. That means there are eight factorial ways. All right. But we do see that they are triple D identical. These identical letters will cause repeated weights. In order to get rid of these repeated weights, we divide out three factorials for the triple D. At the same time, there are two factorial ways for the double I. And hence, we will get the correct number of ways to arrange this word dividend in a row, which is 3360 ways. All right. By using what we discussed just now, let us look at some partial questions. All right. So let me put down the formula we discussed just now. First, we were talking about multiplication rule. So 
Second, we talk about arranging n distinct object. So n factorial. But if they are identical objects, we need to get rid of the repeated ways caused by the identical object. So we have p factorial. If they are different uh, identical objects, then we also multiply with q factorial. All right. So let's see questions one here. This is the questions from 2011, October, November, and variant 62. 12 coins are tossed and placed in a line. Each coin can show either a head or a tail. Part one, find the number of different arrangements, which means we are talking about permutations, of heads and tails which can be obtained. So in order to answer part one, we will use multiplication rule. Let's put down 12 different places. All right, the first place is the place meant for the first coin. It can show either a head or a tail. That means the first place, the first coin has two different ways, right? Then at the same time, second coin, it has two different ways as well. It can either show a head or show a tail. There, is, there are two different ways. So same for the third and so on. So by using multiplication rule, the first we have two different ways and multiply with the second one, also two different ways multiply all these numbers together we can write it down as 2 to power of 12 right then using calculator the number of ways will be 4096 all right that means if we have 12 different coins tossed and placed in a line Either some of the coin shows head, some of the coin shows tails. All together, they are four thousand and ninety-six different ways. Now we look at the part two. Find the number of different arrangements which contain seven heads and five tails. Okay, we can use capital letters H to represent the head and T to represent tails. That means if there are seven capital letter H and five capital letter T placed in a row, how many ways do you have to arrange them? So there are 12 different letters here. Then using the second formula, we have 12 factorial way right divided out seven h that are identical so divided out seven factorial at the same time there are five t are identical divide out five factorial and we multiply them together this will give you the total number of ways for arranging the seven heads and five tails coins in a row. And the answer will be 792. Okay, so using the methods discussed, we will be able to answer part one and part two accordingly. Now, let's have a look of question two. Okay, question two is a question from May, June 2015 and variant 6 1. 
find how many different numbers can be made by arranging the keyword arranging all nine digit nine digit of the number two two three six seven seven eight 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 if there are no restrictions so as we can see the number of arrangements or the number of ways i put it here first there are nine digits that means there are nine objects for us to arrange in a row all right but there are two identical letter uh, digits in this case they are digit digit two so we divide out two factorial way and double let a uh, double digit seven so divide out two factorial weight and triple eight identical so divided out three factorial weight all right then the number of ways will be one five one two oh okay so this is using the formula we discussed just now to find the number of different arrangements of these nine digits where some of the digits are identical all right let's see question three okay this is the questions from 2011 october november variant six one so this question three is similar to the examples we discussed before please try to answer this and put put your answer down in the comment below that's all for this lesson uh, that we discussed about the multiplication rule and the arranging and distinct object we will see uh, each other in the next lesson that's all for today's video if you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell ding dong also if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the march scheme just doesn't seem to help Genie has got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.